Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. We have some fun stuff ahead. I have managed to combine my two saves together. And so we're going to be uh, taking a look at Devastator and the Cybertron save together. Uh, and you're like, what, what, why, why do you have two if you're new to the, the stream? Well, so when we first updated to Satisfactory 1.0, my Devastator save was crashing all the time. And so I couldn't play on it and it sucked. And uh, we started a new save and we got pretty far because the Devastator save continued to crash every time we tried it. And now that they've released a couple of patches and things are a little bit smoother, we're back on Devastator because that's the save that I've been playing on for the last few years. Well, uh, I was able to use Satisfactory Calculator to bring in all of the buildings from the grassy fields uh, in the Cybertron save into the De Devastator save. So now everything is in one save. I had a third save that I, I spent a lot of time on as well, uh, but there had been a lot of changes to the landscape since I did that one. So the Cybertron one was the was the save to combine with Devastator. And uh, we're just going to roll forward as if um, this has all been uh, one save all along. The only thing that doesn't come along is the hours. Uh, so in Satisfactory, they tell you how long each save has as far as hours played. We're almost at 1,200 hours with the Devastator save. We are at around 300 hours, I want to say, with Cybertron. We can check in the game in a minute. Uh, but... The devastator save still just says um the the 1200 hours it doesn't it doesn't actually change uh that so uh we do have a lot of repainting to do as you'll see when i when i switch over um because we changed the swatches and we lost the red swatch for the green swatch so the red autobot swatch that we were using in cybertron uh we're using the green one in Devastator. And Devastator is much bigger and there's much, much more going on in Devastator. So it made sense to keep that one and not have to change them later on. So uh, we will do some repainting probably. Uh, and um, hopefully things will be looking good. Looks like everything's running, which is surprising. So that's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, uh, all of my factories have incorrect colors. So that's going to be a bit tedious. I'm not sure I'm going to tackle that today. I think what I want to do today is try to just get them both hooked up on the same power grid. Uh, because one thing we don't have in the Devastator save is the Summer Sloop uh, power augmenter. And um, we have a lot of power in Devastator. And to add even more is going to be really, really fun. Uh, so that's the plan. Anyway, hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Zero T666 is hanging out. Cosmic Dancer's here. Bali's here. Jake Chris, good to see you. I think I saw Sweet Sandy kicking around. Hope you're all having a good Wednesday so far. I had to remind myself that it's that it's Wednesday. Yeah, I think it's just going to make things a little bit easier. We had a lot of infrastructure set up with the dimensional depots uh, in the other save, so that's that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Um, we had the um, uh, floating train, and uh, we've lost the plastic though. So the plastic from Cybertron was coming in from the same oil fields that we have Megatron on uh, the power plant, so we have to figure that out. Um, and that's doable. We can we can export the um, we can export the um, the plastic, no problem. So let's switch over and see what we got going on here. It's still nighttime in the game. So as you can see. Things are looking a little weird because Wheeljack is green and Wheeljack should be red. Oh, that's the other thing. All of the trees here hadn't been destroyed. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff I've got to go around and maybe cut out. So if I look for my chainsaw, I should be able to start to get rid of some of this stuff. Wherever we see it. Uh, I didn't have a hover pack, I don't think in Wheeljack. That's good to know. I'm not seeing any... no trees poking up through the factory floor, so that's good. Hey, Blast Jordan, how's it going? Now, some of these have maintained their color because they weren't swatches, or this the same swatch happened to be 
correct. But we could probably do do some stuff here. Oh, that reminds me. I just heard my little Amazon Echo in the living room make a, a chime. Uh, I have um, a potential test in my region of the emergency services. So uh, in about 35 to 40 minutes, my phone is going to go bananas. I've set a timer for 34 minutes, which should be just ahead of that. And I may um, just try to move the phone far enough away from the mic that it's not crazy loud. Uh, there's no stopping it. I don't. I don't think anything we do will will be able to stop it. So um, that might happen. Just FYI. Also, since when do these guys spawn inside your factories? It's so annoying. Oh, here's some more stuff. We have all the um, the rocks and stuff are still here too. That's problematic. Essentially what this is supposed to look like for anybody that's tuning into the stream for the first time is all of this should be red. So where's my red? Yeah, so it's this one. Gonna look like a Christmas Grinch for the first little while here. I think that's supposed to be green there. I don't remember. Put that on eight. Probably gonna use that a lot. So I know we did a lot of repainting yesterday, so I'm going to try to avoid that uh, as something we're going to be doing a lot of today. We'll do some. Anyway, this is what it's supposed to look like with the red and the white. Uh, it's supposed to look like Wheeljack, the Transformer Wheeljack. And hey, the sun is up. And... That means I need to show you something. Uh, I didn't realize this when I logged in quickly before starting the stream. That I knew this was all going to be here. And I knew that I had big builds elsewhere. But something that I was not planning on was being able to see the Megatron power plant from here. Like I had no idea that we were going to be able to see that from all the way over here. So that's wild. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, the only thing that didn't copy in was our space elevator because, of course, it was already over there. Uh, and that you can't have two. So there's a platform for the space elevator, but it's it's obviously up over there. But yeah, that's, that's a massive, massive piece of kit over there. Uh, and you can see also the Sunstreaker factory is uh, green and yellow. <laughs> um... And blue, <laughs> like just the swatch has got switched out. So we'll have to look at some screenshots and and probably make that make that better. And the the green on Wheeljack is purple. So all this should be should be green, and it should be a different kind of green too, if I remember correctly. I feel like I have to bring that that over. There was a different green that I had to write down. Don't remember which watch we need to make it. I think it's this one. Swatch number nine. I don't remember what other things are swatch number nine. Uh, that's the black one. Hmm. 
Good opportunity to paint it all pink. Yeah. Uh, where is... I had this written down somewhere. Um, reference. Transformer swatches. Green and white, dark green and yellow. I want to say the green and white is one I used a lot. If I bring up my swatches here, I don't see us using the green and yellow that much. I could put that there. I think we're using this in the other save. A couple of these I left where they were because it would be less work to manipulate them. Um, so yeah, we'll do this one. Yeah. So we've got... And point fifteen. Oh, that's the dark green. Point thirty five. Really? One of five point eight four thirty five. And then it's white on this side, which is everything but then point ninety five. Not happy with my frame rate right now. I think this was green as well. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just carbon steel. Oh, yeah. So this was black. Okay. We I like I was just playing in this a few weeks ago, but it just seemed dark. So this is where the green is supposed to be in this save. Maybe they'll release an expansion where we get more more green. All right, well, let's go take a look and see where we can connect all this up because this is on a separate power grid. If I look at the uh, power here, this is only um, production is 1500? That seems low. I thought it was 32. Maybe I missed connection somewhere. I'll have to see. Anyway. So unfortunately, 
this looked cooler in the other save, but we'll be able to get it back to, to normal. The main thing I want to do is connect the power. It's going to be cool to have a full uh, train destination now for the brakes, too. We can have people uh, driving all over the place. So, from here, we can do a little foundation stuff. So that has to go over a couple. We have to get it up over there. And if I remember correctly, these are 12. Oh, did I do that wrong? Going from the middle of the foundation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna, I should go back this way and check out the same way. So in between, we've got X amount. There's 11 in between. So every 12th. So do one. So one more with this one here. Uh, question is geothermal power worth getting uh yeah if you've got the resources to grab it it's um it fluctuates but you can totally use it to like either power remote facilities or just like quickly add to your power as you're expanding um i've not done it because i've not needed to Your main power source is cold, then yeah, I w it would definitely give you some boosts, especially if you've got the power augmenter, right? Like if you've got the power augmenter, then having extra will just kind of uh, compound, right? It was all pink, says Cosmic. I don't believe you. Lies. It's 11, so then this is going to be blue. I guess I should start 
heading over in that direction. I'm probably going to use this one as the turn. Uh, question is, do I have the right amount? I don't, not, I'm not sure how far we have to go left or right here. It's not going to be perfect, that's for sure. Five degree right turn. That'll work. And then I'll do... Five degree right bend. The same. No, that's not what I want. I want the continued one. Two is four. I guess I could just head straight in that direction until we hmm let's just see where this goes I'll paint this to say like curve here Doesn't look like it's going to match up. Okay. That's probably better. Guess we'll bring it down on this piece. Hope we're on the same grid. Uh, we're not. Where are we? No. Okay, that's going to be a pain. Different vertical grid. How did I swing that? Probably Devastator. Devastator is not on the grid. So we may have to switch out those tracks at some point. Should be able to get from the middle here to the middle there. Oh, 
and from there we should be able to go down. Oh, probably two meters. Not that direction. And I think if I remember correctly, it's it's two notches down. Too tight. Okay, I have to back that up. I'd say that's about right. Pretty close to parallel. And again, I don't remember exactly. I want to say it's from about midway on the bottom. Get it to look like a nice curve. Yep. Good memory. Oh, that's the wrong one. And then as far as the supports go, we'd probably put one here and then again at the top. Although I would say probably this position here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh wow, that works out. Then we'll make this one like that. These will be a little close together. Um we might split the difference here. Just to make that work nicer. Although we still have to do this for the curve. Hey Dan, how's it going? Uh, we'll go with one, two, three, four, five. Now, if I remember correctly, when we do these curves, 
we have to go from um, do I not have any more power? Hold on, here we go. From here we have to go to the middle of each one. Yeah, that's not quite working, is it? Should be every two. From there, maybe? I don't know if that will reach. Does not. All right, well, we'll start from the other end then. So that's on a straight and this is on a curve. So we can come back here. And then I just have to split this in half. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Guess only the right one is powered? It's weird. That should be good. And then we should be able to delete uh, this one. No. My bad. It's these two. Ta-da. Uh, did I see merge saves? Yeah. Yeah, everything has got the wrong, <laughs> the wrong palettes though. So um, the red and white of, or uh, green and white. No, yeah, red and, the red and white of um, Wheeljack is now green and white. And the red and yellow of Sunstreaker is now green and yellow. It's all just hard to see from over this way. Oh, why are you on the move? There's no, there's no train station for you. Why are you moving? This is not good. Where do you think you're going? I'm curious. As to why you are active. Sunstreaker. I didn't... There's no station named Sunstreaker, so I'm not sure where you're going. Weird. Because, like, there is... The Sunstreaker station is... Oh, wait a minute. Sunstreaker is over there. It just found a way to turn around. That's what it is. Okay. I was like, I thought it was coming into Mirage, but like Mirage does not exist because Megatron exists. Wild. Okay, so this is going to line up there. Uh, and then we've got 
This is supposed to be one, and then that's supposed to be one. We should probably spread these out a little bit more. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one. We'll do that Sweet Sandy, hello. Welcome to the double save. For the combo save. Now, which one? That one. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have a do I have a Decepticon version? I don't think I have a Decepticon version. Hmm. I think I only made a Decepticon version of the, the light-colored one. I'm curious what this guy's going to do. He's on autopilot, so he's going to go to Sunstreaker and Wheeljack. We need to get a way for him to turn around. I don't think I've named... I don't, there's a station in there, but I don't think it's hooked up to anything. I may try to trick my brake during that um, emergency services test. This might be an opportunity to get rid of some of this too. This way. I wonder if you're using this as a turnaround, probably. That would be my guess. Puppy wrestling. That sounds fun. Yeah, you're going to use this as a turnaround loop. Okay. Fair enough. It's a long way to go, but that works. I was kind of in the mood to mess around with trains today. It's unfortunate that we've built this at the wrong height, but we'll just, um, we'll keep it temporary for now because it's only this section. I think all of our other rails, once you get past this intersection here, doesn't matter. So we, we can correct the height difference, no problem. Not that it's a big deal. I need... I don't remember which blueprint designer those are in. I think they're in the big one. Uh, oh, they're in this one. I need the one... Rail and block signal. No rail, no block signal. And 
Decepticon. So this is the one I want to load. Oh, that's my alarm. So it's, it's fine. Transferring all your blueprints to larger designers are a real pain. So this is the Decepticon version. I need a Decepticon version of this one. Oh, do I make that one in a big one too? Huh. Oh, because it's from the other save maybe? Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can just place one of these in the world. I don't I don't need this to be loaded in. I can just um I can just place it over here. So all I want to do is just do things like take these lights, make them red. And I think I'm going to try to make this a little bit more aggressive looking because this feels more aggressive than this. I think it's the, well, it's got the same grill. I guess it's the crisscrossing parts. You don't see this part because the rails cover it up. Right, so then there's that part. covers up all that stuff there. Yeah, I think we can make this look a little bit more aggressive. In order to do that, I'll have to add in some foundations and build the, tr the rails just briefly. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's what these look like. I'll have to go look at one in the wild. But we might be able to take this. Uh, right, I remember that now. Uh, 
Ooh, we might be able to bring them in closer by nudging them. Oh, there's the emergency services. It actually... It was silent. That's good. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Didn't know it did that. Thought it was going to lock flat. Right, and that looks kind of silly. Yeah, that looks like it blocks the train. So we'd have to have them crisscrossing under each one. And they're just too high. So... Yeah, those are lower on this. The whole thing is lower. I wonder if I added an extra one of these. Can I snap that to that? I can. Then we do that. Don't quite have the room. Plus, I don't think I like the way that, that sticks out there. Hmm. I just like that this has more bulk to it. Also, it's got more lights as well. Maybe, oh, maybe what we need to do is we need to add like four of those instead of two. beef this up. I can't do that. We could lower that. As long as I don't save this, we should be fine. I had it a second ago. Uh, but then we need... Right, then we need the top part.
I don't know what colors those are. I'm assuming it's the same texture. Yeah, it looks about right. I like that's a little bit chunkier. This is going to be a real pain to replicate, though. Oh, and that's now down lower. Uh, do I want that? Hmm, that doesn't work. I like the top part. But I think I have to bring this back up. Still works, although we'll have to cover that up. Just enough to give it a thickness. I'll have to remember that trick. Decent. Then it still feels not as beefy down here. Thanks, Sandy. Appreciate it. Sun's almost down. Don't think that's what we want. a little bit more aggressive looking. I mean, I think we'll um we'll fill in this top part here. And then maybe we can add in that cross design somehow. We just have those lights on the outside of it, maybe. That's weird. I guess I could try it there. Not as clean. It's not terrible. Ooh, hey, wait a minute. I like that better. What do we think?
Kind of looks like Zoidberg. <laughs> That's funny. You guys will still go in the same spots, I think. Roughly in the same position they were. A little farther apart, maybe. And maybe we fill that part in, I guess. we then add more along there? Yes. I think having them too close together doesn't make sense though. I guess we'll just leave it for now. Anyway, let's uh, jump on the brake train and I'll add in a destination as we swirl around the world. This is just a manual train. Uh, do I have a brake train? I think it's over at the other spot. Pretty sure I left it in this station yesterday. Looks like yes. Yeah, uh, let's add wheel jack. Don't think I need to go to Sunstreak here, but that's fine. Storage Devastator Hub. Wheeljack Megatron. Um, cool. Uh, folks, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to reheat my coffee uh, and gives you a chance to grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. Always trying to grow the channel. I'll be back in just a few minutes. You get to ride around the whole save and check out some of the builds that have the wrong color palettes for now. Just the new ones, wrong color palettes. Just FYI. Cool. I'll be right back.
So I have to put more block signals down, it looks like. Oh no, they should be okay. Welcome back. Hope you are refreshed and ready to work hard. <laughs> Thanks for the Master Chief sticker, Sandy. I think that's the first time anyone's used that. And thank you for the 200 bits. That's very cool. Thank you. Uh, that's correct. Ah, uh, there's no block on the way out. Yeah, there is. What's the issue then? Oh, it's because you are stuck. That's what's going on. Why can't you enter there? Oh, because that's weird. Oh, you know what? I guess it's because this is a longer train and I've only ever come down here when it's a small train and it doesn't matter. And that's probably what it is. Are you going to go? Uh, nope. What's going on now? Are you going so slow? Oh, that's not good. So you think that's the shortest route? That's dumb. It's not the shortest route. No, why are you, why are you going right? Like why would you not take the short route? Weird. Yeah, it's trying to go the same way as the park train, but there's a there's a wide open track right there. So trains don't look out for other trains. That's the first problem with the way that train AI works. Uh, that also shouldn't be a path signal. Maybe that could be. Path, path block. Maybe it's not trying to go that way because there's a station there? These arrows don't switch into the last minute either way. Still. There's a really big delay with the train controls now. There never used to be. Well, that should fix that. When in doubt, just 
leave your construction train on its own line. I feel like they should have multi-track switches. I could take this straight through too. I think the idea was that I was going to build something in front of the waterfall. Even if it was just something decorative, it would be cool. I guess we could just leave it with the single, um, which we won't call it repulsor. I think the difference is that I use the same repulsor size on both of these platforms, but because the platform here is larger, it looks, this looks more beefy because there's more to it. I guess the only thing really to do is just turn these purple because I don't have anything bigger unless I went with these, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh, that's way too large. Hey, Delara, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Um, what about these other pieces? I think that only comes in the one size. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll just stick with this. We'll just change them purple.
for anybody catching up, the whole idea is that I'm making some of the train supports that we designed in the um, Cybertron playthrough that was a little bit more Autobot-like uh, to look a little bit more like Decepticons. A little bit more evil looking. Just have to beef up this other side. Did that by putting a second one of those. There's one there, and there's this one is on the bottom. Oh, really? do the other one. I thought you could move it eight, not seven. That's got it. Alan, thanks so much for the raid. Welcome in, folks. We've got Alan0623 Stealth coming in. Thanks for saying hello. What were you up to on stream today, Alan? While well, we're waiting for Alan. Folks in my chat, uh, welcome in uh, to all the new people. And if you are new, uh, my name is Joel Duggan. I stream and I podcast full time. We're playing Satisfactory today and we're working on some blueprints for the um, anti-gravity train supports. So we don't have to draw um, on design elements like towers and struts and all that kind of stuff. We're just going to make the train float in the air, but make it look like it makes sense because we're basing everything off of transformers. Uh, Alan was playing Satisfactory. Cool. What were you doing in Satisfactory, Alan? Is this your first time playing the game or have you been playing through early access? I 
Alright, that looks significantly beefier to me. This is probably going to be an iterative process. Um, looks cool on its own. That's for sure. I wonder if we could... No, I'll leave it like that. Alright, so this is... Should I save it as a, as a secondary one? Right, yeah, this has to be um, Decepticon. Uh, two times rail, hover support, no tracks. No room. What are we going to call this? Hover. Uh, no. No rail. Uh, let's change the color to red. Set the directory. We'll actually try to put it in trains and see if that works. And then we'll save it. Bought the game a year ago before the update. Very cool. We've been playing for almost four years, I think. Yeah, did you start over in 1.0 or did you continue the save? This is a continued save. We've got we've got uh, a lot of hours going in here. Actually, hold on, let me show you. Let me show you the front of Devastator. So we uh, we've been basing the design of this major factory off of Devastator the Transformer. And we finished the chest plate a couple weeks ago. Well finished. We got a really good portion of it done. So we've got the Devastator chest plate hanging out there above the factory. And you can see our little single rail hover supports in action. So like they kind of make it look like the train is hovering. I love the red lights. The red lights are starting to add a lot of evil in the area. Uh, and then yesterday we were designing some stuff along here, trying to match what we've got going on here. I'm trying not to get too complicated with it because like the Transformers in the 80s are pretty cartoony. Like they're pretty blocky. So if I get too many details going, it, it stops to look like that. That's not, that wasn't a sentence. <laughs> uh, it stops looking like that. It stops looking like the 80s Transformers. Uh, so we just updated the, the double wide to be um, evil looking. And it looks even worse. It looks even more evil without the, the rails on it. Did that go to the right directory? Look at that, it did. Okay. So we just combined our saves. I started over with 1.0. And um, I didn't want to continue because I got to aluminum. I was like, I don't want to do this again. I'm already beyond this in Devastator. So I decided to use Satisfactory Calculator and combine the saves together. But now all of our things are funny colors. Plus, I didn't want to give up 60,000 megawatts of power. See, these towers are things we no longer have to worry about, which is great. I mean, we can still use them. We just, it's not going to be the main thing.
And that's our power facility. Somewhere I have train. I guess I should maybe make this look like it stands up. I know I'm in the way. This will hover up here. And then put another one at the bottom. You're in phase three, have to complete phase four. Ah, we have not finished phase four either. Do I want to put this here or one back? Probably one back. Whoops. Man, that, once you've got a system for putting in rails, it just goes so much faster. Yeah, those look great. Did I put that in the right spot? Yes. might not have enough. Probably need more quartz. Don't remember why that was there. Oh, that's just to... Right. 
I remember now. You find it easier to go slow? Yeah, same. Yeah, I find when you rush around, I find, like, you start to get um, UI mistakes. Like, you start to press the wrong hotkey for the wrong... Um, we might not even need that one. You start pressing, like, the wrong hotkeys for the wrong menus. and I find, too, like, if I play for too long, if I get tired, I 100% start doing like inventory errors and start spamming the wrong keys and all that stuff. So these are the older ones and I'm fine with that. I think I'll just leave those the way they are. Uh, we were just going with every second one. So block signals are just going to go down the line here because uh, two of these segments is roughly the same size as one of your like your long what you should have as your longest train oh this is going to snap over there that sucks i forgot about that don't think i can move those either can't be nudged. I thought you could put these anywhere, but not when they're that close. They snap to the edge there. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll do this one instead. this is new with 1.0 you can actually put these right in the middle they don't have to snap to a break in the tracks now which is great the UI just get, does get in its own way though I find that you also don't want super long blocks coming out of your intersections. You generally want your blocks coming out of your intersections to be short. Looks pretty good. So we've got some curves and some like really steep angles. And that mirage should be coming right behind us, yeah. Still can't get trains to render in from a distance and I don't know why. It could be just my system. I don't have an offshoot here, I don't think. So I'll have to delete the brake train. Oh, you don't like it when the train goes over the edge? Leave that for now. I'm already seeing issues. Uh, probably. 
probably two. I don't remember what I was going to do in there. I feel like I might have lost some progress, but it, it seems to be okay. Everything here is the wrong color, though. Oh, right. Forget about those. Do I have explosives? I do. Only 11, though. So one thing about the combining of the saves is that I did not clear this area first. Had I really been thinking, I should have cleared this area first. That's all of them. That get rid of all the stuff. There might still be one up here, maybe. corner. Oh, I see it. That was a terrible shot. I'm surprised that worked. This is what I mean by the pallets are off. I'm not going to bother with the machines. I might just do those in between streams. Already is starting to feel more like home.
I may even take the opportunity to change some of the colors. Oh, uh, I don't think there's anything that was supposed to be on there. Something I forgot. All of a sudden, a lot less Christmas being a lot more like Wheeljack the Transformer. Now, these are doing uh, steel. I don't remember what color these were. They're all pretty dark. I wonder if they were meant to be. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave them like that. Maybe I'll take these ones. Already a dark color, it's fine. Ah, uh, these are wrong. And all of this is just to hide the power nodes so you don't have cables going everywhere. Looks pretty good to me. I did notice I'm missing these over here. Oh, those are supposed to be white, aren't they? I don't even have a pillar down here. should do. Nothing glaring right now. These machines were always bright colors because they're doing screws or cable. I think the only one that's not the right color is the concrete, but it's actually not a bad color. So I'm not too worried about it. And all of these are making iron? No, cable. Right. Okay. That's fine. Oh, hey, storage system. You were not green. can't remember whether those were colored or not.
I know these were. I kind of like them gray. Nice. That didn't take too long at all. I mean, there's still a lot of machines to fix. Oh, wait. Missed a spot. I'm sure there will be spots that I totally miss. And spots that need pruning. So used to it being red. I forgot that it's a uh, different thing. Thank you, Sandy. Appreciate the heads up. Oh, that's not supposed to be green. Well, that didn't take too long to get Wheeljack back on track. I think that's pretty good. I still can't believe that we can see Megatron from down here. Like, that's just crazy. So cool. So as you can see, we definitely need um, to uh, to repaint um, Sunstreaker because uh, Sunstreaker is supposed to be red and yellow, and that is not what's happening there. Uh, I need to wrap things up a little bit early today. I've got some other things I have to do, errands to run. So I'm going to pass you along to Total Eclipse. I'm sure that you will enjoy your time with Total. And uh, we will be back. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be back in Satisfactory tomorrow. We might be in Minecraft. I'll, I'll have to see what's up. But I am definitely going to be looking forward to turning Sunstreaker back into the uh, gold and yellow uh, and not the snot green that it currently is. Uh, but uh, it's good to kind of have all this stuff in one save now. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it gives us some resources and things to go back and forth with, which is great. So uh, until then, you can follow on social media at Joel Duggan. I'm also on Blue Sky now, so it's very easy to find me, Joel Duggan. Uh, the Spawn Chunks is on Blue Sky as well. Again, at the Spawn Chunks. We've got the same username on all the social media that matters. Uh, you can, of course, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan uh, or patreon.com slash The Citadel Cafe or The Spawn Chunks. We have uh, Patreons for our podcasts, but also for me as well here on the stream. Uh, and it's a great way to... Um, to support your favorite streamers and patreon just rolled out gifting so just like a gift sub on twitch you can now gift on patreon uh i uh I'm, i need to make some adjustments on the citadel cafe patreon as well as the spawn chunks that's coming up in the new year so um that will make things a little bit more complicated but on the joel duggan patreon you can absolutely use uh gifts now um or at least i have to go i have to i may have to go enable them but it is a feature now on um on the site so uh other than that just new episode of the spawn chunks and uh as per usual thank you very much to sandy and to cosmic for hanging around and helping out with the modding uh thank you to the raid alan 0623 stealth appreciate it i'm glad you're enjoying satisfactory and thanks for bringing over your viewers and i will see you all tomorrow bye for now enjoy total eclipse